All right, here we go. In Joker, match Chinese player. I'm gonna go for a quick expand. So worker, sit right here, wait for 200 minerals, slap down a gas. That worker that's building, rally it, go get a scout, reset the rally. Make sure he's going where I want him to. Build workers, keep going until you, till you're fully saturated on minerals. And got two on gas. In the middle of that, I'm going to lay down a barracks. It's a second or two late, but it's okay. It's a bigger map. Not that worried about it. Walk him down here, get ready to put down my second castle as soon as I get 400. And what do we got here? Barracks, ice tower, two gas. Perfect. So I feel comfortable putting that castle down right here. Chrono. Even if he pushes me, I should have enough up by the time he gets here to defend. He's probably going to go for some sort of a timing attack. Uh, so, rally some workers, get an owl out. It is also a bit late. You know, five seconds or so. That does make a little bit of a difference. I would have liked to have him out sooner. Uh, this tower down here to that way he can't just run right in here if he is planning a timing attack and time to get some more barracks up keep building workers he's got an owl lurking around here see if I can bait him in here uh, so he is going for an attack at two minutes it's not that much maybe I hopefully didn't miss anything um, Put another barracks down just in case. I'm gonna move up just a little bit. That way, if he runs in, I can kind of flank him. He kills the owl, which makes me think he's planning something a little sneaky. No. Oh, it's a harpy. Alright. Um, should be able to overrun this. That whirlwind's gonna suck. And poison. Great. Almost was able to focus the harpy down. He sneaks out. It's alright. And pull back. Rebuild army. Make sure I'm completely saturated. I need to get another barracks. Um. this owl out start getting my other gases out right, so he's just kind of balling up right outside the base at some point I, I need to scout the other side of the map see if he's committing to this or if he's macroing behind it, uh, but I don't really want to spend the money on an owl right now because I need that gas for units that are going to help me defend. Um, I'm going to also sneak out and try to get a third up. Might be risky, but I feel usually with these pushes, if you survive the first attack, you're pretty ahead economically. Unless they're just very good at managing their money. Alright, he's building ice towers up here too. So he, he's committing. Um, or at least it appears to be. And those ice towers are going to suck. Because it's going to make it hard to push into. Um, I'm going to maybe try to see if I've got enough to just bust right through it. Build some more sneak bombers and stuff. 
but I need to get this up first. Use the gas for the chrono, and then... Let's go. Let's see. Could be a mistake. Uh, yeah, big mistake. Wow. Yeah, I should have scouted that better. I'm fine, though. Can't do it again. But... Wow. Alright, at least the third's up, so even if the second goes down, still got a steady income. Um, of course, he's got temptation. Alright, put these towers down. Rebuild some barracks, because everything down here is probably going to die. Um, still make units. That way they can deal a little bit of damage. Let's go remake a castle, invest in workers, rebuild barracks, make army. Uh, that's pretty much the cycle. Expand, build workers, build army. He's still building towers, so even though I can't get out to scout, I feel like there's no way he's keeping up um, with macro. With this big of an army, each one of those ice towers, 120 minerals. I just gotta... Hang on long enough to chisel away at this army and hopefully not fall behind. I'm not going to win this right here, but I do need those towers to finish. So, see so if they can hang on long enough. Two, one, cool. All three are going to go up. That's great. He's got to be careful with those towers because they'll shoot through the harpies. Uh, they're not affected by... The whirlwind, obviously. They're connected to the ground. Let's get those two to focus that harpy down. Foden's focus one. The other one's going to escape. Right. I'm going to have them focus down the worker so they'll just quit being annoying. Cool. So pretty soon I'll be back up to three castles, feeling pretty good. He didn't trade all that well that last round. Um, he is still camping right there, though. So don't do anything stupid. I'm just sit back, keep building army, defend well. And I need to start scouting. Again, I just also need the gas. Alright, let's go see. He's either going to be right there or I'm going to start my fourth. Okay, he's right there. Um, so let's go get it. He's gonna, if he's smart, he's gonna rush in and attack right here. Hopefully, there's enough there to, if not survive, at least slow him down a lot. I, I, I feel like I gotta start doing damage, or this is just gonna be a long, drawn out game that results in me being frustrated. Um, so yeah, while they do that, let's go check, see if he took the third before that fourth spot. Or if he just skipped it to build a corner base. Um, he is right there, so... Start attacking it, and I also want to go down and start attacking his natural. Down another castle, because... I just lost one. There's more towers. 
Just gotta remember to remake barracks, because every base that he kills, there's usually two or three barracks in each one, so... Cool, run into the main. Barracks. Cool, I'm going to end up being able to kill three or four castles. I'm going to take this one out too. I, I imagine he started building on my side of the map with almost completely swap sides. And if he hasn't come home to defend, he's got to feel like he's confident. I've got to deal with that death ball eventually though. This demon's gonna die, that's huge. They're very expensive. Nothing right here. Some people make that spot their third. Some people make it their fifth. Right, so, he's gotta be over here. I'm gonna pull back though. I don't want to run into anything stupid. I'm gonna send an owl over. Uh, take care of that with towers. And fix all these workers. Alright, let's start our third. Right. And his army's coming across, so you need to fall back. Let me get another tower up before he gets there. This looks fresh. They're not completely saturated. He is making workers, so I know that a lot of his money is going into there. Right, he's coming up this ramp. I might need to cancel this. Yeah. I'm going to build some more berserkers. I've got a ton of gas. Um... I'm going to try to attack from the bottom, and as the Berserkers come out, they'll hold their own on top until I can get around. But I want those Harpies to waste all their whirlwinds on smaller portions of my army. Kind of a mess, can't really tell what's going on. Demon died, good. I think all that's left should be those harpies. They seem low on energy, and that's great. They don't do much damage without whirlwind, so I don't care if they sit there and attack the castle. Towers get one, nice. Right. I don't know if his towers have timed out or not. 13 minutes. They usually time out around 9, but they went down late. That one's still up. I'm just going to use Swift to get to the other end of the map quicker. I feel like I need to do damage ASAP as possible. Sick. Alright. Two bases at once. He's used Temptation. Seemed a bit desperate, honestly. Um. Oof, that's a lot of spearmen, though. So he's trying to focus down the Berserkers. He maybe should have went for the Bodun first, honestly. Whatever. Um. I might get out of this. Let's put down some towers because I do need another castle. Get some eyes up there, send an owl. Uh, these dudes are probably dead. Take him and yep, go up there, start killing those workers. Didn't get to get to any runes. It's too late to do it now. But if I had tornado. They'd be toast. They might be able to escape. Alright, let's put this down. 
And get ready to push again. I feel like I just need to bust through the last little bit that's there. See if these towers are still here. That one's gone. That one's still there. So let's go down. Oh. I don't know why he was pushing right there. But it's good for me. <laughs> Ran straight into my bombers. Uh, another gas. Ooh, get out of the poison. Get out of the poison. I'm surprised that many of them survived, if I'm being honest with you. But let's go. Alright, so there's only one spot that he can be. I guess he could be up top. We'll see. Go down there. Put another castle down there in a minute. Alright, let's just see if we can do this. Oh, all right, good. Cool, berserkers. Gonna kill the workers. That's all I care about right now. And see if these Vodun's can focus down the harpy. Oof, GG. Nice. Whew, good game. I definitely feel like I should not have won it. Um, but that was a whole lot of fun. Oh, well, that was a uh, crazy one. So let's take a look at the replay. Let's look at what went right, what went wrong um, through the eyes of the almighty observer. And Joker, that was a really great game. Um, I don't know if there's any Chinese players that watch these videos. I mean, I know that there's Korean, there's Ukrainian, Russian, um, shout out Belgium. Um, folks from all over the world, but I don't know if I've got any Chinese friends in the comments, but if so, it's one hell of a game. I specifically wanted to practice a quick expand. Um, I probably would have held off and waited for the push if I didn't want to practice it, but I wanted to see if I can get it up before it came. I all but knew the push was coming because 10 out of 10 Chinese players that I match with do some sort of push usually right at the four minute mark coming early at two took me a little bit off guard especially with um the fact that you went double gas and with a defensive tower and that you're building stuff like this far across the map like pretty impressive to be able to um maintain it for so long but what was really impressive is the fact that you were able to macro behind it pretty well um usually in these pushes as soon as you win that first fight it just kind of snowballs out of control in my favor um but yeah you were smart you started your second um still keeping the pressure on those still using towers offensively um controlling the map a little bit we saw this more like 2020 ACs. like using towers to control the map was very common um and once these newer maps came out, like this is a newer version of an older map, um, it became harder and harder because it was just too many ways to escape your base. Um, yeah, I, I, I said it live, but I'll say it again that I should not have done that. And this really should have been GG. Um, if I was going to offer anything to end Joker, I would say that like... You went for your third right here, which was the safe move. I don't think anything wrong with that. Um, but you can probably cool out on these offensive towers at this point. Like, that's so much money. If you would have just put that into just straight um, spearmen, you probably could have just steamrolled me right here. Um, like, those two, I don't think the other one even got a shot off. And then that one's going to go up and be completely wasted. Um... You probably, in that amount of time, could have ran up straight into my main um, and killed everything. 
And even though I got the other three towers up, like this tower is gonna be destroyed and the worker goes down. And you're, you're still putting barracks and towers over here. Um, it's aggressive and and you are macroing well behind it. But, um, you know, I, I, I see right now six towers that are not ever going to shoot a single member of my army. Um, so that's it. I, you could have put those in the spearmen and I think really won the game right here. Uh, me scouting that, pulling this army out was questionable. I maybe could have split, but I honestly just felt like it was, it was crazy base trade or lose at this point. Um, I didn't feel like I could win and the fact that you sucked up into um, that little corner there allowed me to get a few um, a few kills on your army while I'm coming in and putting damage on your economy. You're still ahead by a good bit um, economically and army supply. Um, I think I've just got the speed advantage here, so I'm able to go in and just take out a whole bunch of workers in a in some castles in a short amount of time. Um, looking at this, I might have been safe to go up there. No, you were coming down the backside, so it was a good decision to pull him back right there. Um, go back, kill the last little bit of gas so you can not have vision there. Not that it was all that advantageous. Um, <laughs> Yeah, right here. I feel like I accomplished what I wanted to. Um, split my army a little bit. I made you waste the whirlwinds. Um, whirlwinds are kind of weird because, like, the more you have, it's just they do crazy amount of damage. But if you would have laid them down slower, you probably, again, could have killed my whole army there. And those surviving berserkers, I think this is where the game really really changed um, being able to get them across the map and do the amount of damage that they did um, right here those three spearmen off to the right they should have killed that Vodun first because three spearmen I, I think should kill a berserker but the debuff from the Vodun made it to where um, those berserkers could survive because each time a poison dart hits a spearman, it increases the amount of incoming damage and that's stackable up to times 10. So that single Vodun um, is really solely responsible for killing all three of those spearmen. It's good poison. Um, I, don't, I didn't catch what level your poison was. I, I feel like I got really lucky there. I feel like that should have killed all of those Vodunes. Um, I wasn't back to that side of the map yet to really pay attention, I don't think. Um, and then, yeah, in the end, it's just too much. But good game. It was a whole lot of fun. Um, thanks for watching, and I will holler at you all next time. Later.